Hey everybody, live on Instagram. So the other day I was making um, a meal for the family. There's four of us here uh, in quarantine. And uh, I went to YouTube to try to figure out how to make spaghetti carbonara. And on YouTube was Jamie Oliver. And I love Jamie Oliver. I actually have Jamie Oliver's book, of five things. It's so great where you only use five things in, in ingredients to making meals. So I thought, wouldn't it be great if, if I actually connected Jamie, Jamie Oliver to all of us so he could teach us during these quarantine times how to do something delicious, fun, and quick and easy. Because um, as I was saying the other day on the Instagram, my hat's off, my sweater's off, my shoes off to all of you moms and dads out there meals every day and your family is if, if your family is like my family the other day they're just standing around like what are you doing? so uh jamie can we get jamie on we're here <laughs> how you doing oprah hey so good to see you so good to see you how are I was, you i was so pleased with your youtube um video teaching me how to do carbonara you did very well i think you did ace how did it well, go down? Did it taste good? Uh, a, lot of people, a lot of people were uh, were pointing out to me that I used the uh, spoon holder to actually stir, but I, I wasn't prepared, really. I didn't have all of my little things. That's all right. You just kind of got to get with the pan, like the tossing action. It's a whole practice thing. That's it's what the plastic practice cooks thing. always do. So today, so today, let's, so you're in London. How yep. are things there? How are things there? Uh, I'm, well, I'm in, I'm in Essex, where I, I grew up, um, and uh, it's about an hour from London. So um, probably like yourself, we're hunkered down with our family, doing what the government yeah. says. So um, yeah, we're just, we're just trying to make the best of it and, and be normal with the kids and have fun. And we've got kids with birthdays and you, life continues, right? So you just got to yeah. do your thing. Are you cooking every day? Are you cooking every day for the family? Always, yeah, always. Always, okay, yeah. of course you're always. It's, right, it's so what are we gonna, what are we gonna teach you? So it, cooking is like, it doesn't always have to be stressful, I think. What's interesting about right now in the UK and America is a lot of people are cooking that never cooked before. Yeah. So I think what would be nice tonight is if we can, cooking can be therapy. It can be real fun. Yeah. And I think this, this dish is a good one. I think you're gonna like it. Well, cooking can be fun unless you're Gail King. I don't know if you saw Gail the other day. <laughs> I, I don't even know this. I mean, I've all my life, as a friend of Gail's, I've known that she could not cook, but I did not know that she did not know, Jamie, that when you put an egg on a counter, it rolls off and breaks. I mean, that's a <laughs> Yeah, no, you don't want to be doing that. Who hasn't made eggs <laughs> doesn't know that an egg rolls off the counter. So I'm a little better than that. I'm a little more advanced than that. So how's things in the States? Are, are people panic buying? Uh, people have panic buying. Now we're all locked down and advised not to go to the stores unless it's absolutely an emergency. Necessary. And if you do go, you're supposed to ha have your masks on. Mm -hmm. um, we stocked up a lot before, uh, like I've been in, I've been inside now since March the 9th. I haven't right. been outside side, um, the, the, the house since then. I've been in the yard, obviously. And um, every Thursday we bring in food from the garden. So my, my vegetable garden is doing pretty well. I actually have a couple of different things from the vegetable garden. Beautiful. Back yesterday. Mm -hmm. Cause I knew I was going to be doing this for you today. Well, listen, what, the great thing about this, we're going to do a stir-fried rice dish. And the great thing about this is it's very flexible to what your audience will or will not have. Okay, so yeah. it's a rice dish, but you can do it with noodles or you can do it with both. Um, we're going to use pretty much any vegetable you can get your hands on that you can slice up fine. Yeah. So please, please don't stress. I mean, I've, I've got frozen peas that I'm going to use. I can see yeah. there you've got fresh corn. You've got yeah. peppers. Yeah, well, this You've is got... a leftover corn. We had corn the other night. I had one ear left, so I have nice. one ear left, okay? So listen, I'm going to hand over to my... My daughter's going to basically film for me. So okay. if you can film for me, Pops. Um, so if you can just come... I, I pretty much got what you've got, Oprah. So just to give your guys a little bit, we're going to start the dish off. Normally, you'd have kind of like leftover meats. It's a perfect leftover dish. And um, you could I'm do, pretty but, you know, uh, we had rice last night for dinner. We had rice and gravy and chicken. So I have some rice yeah. left over. So mine's already pre-cooked. OK, so look, in here, I've got some cold leftover rice and some noodles. You can do one or the other or a mixture. Down here, 
I haven't got any sort of like smoked meats, but I've got a little bit of sausage. Uh, yeah. I think you have too. It doesn't really yeah, matter if it's spicy or not. a little chicken sausage and a little shrimp. Yeah, perfect. I've got some smoky bacon. Uh, and of course, if you wanted to go veggie or vegan, easy. Really, really yeah, easy. You can do this. Um, so what, I'm just slicing this up. Yeah. And let me have a little look at what you're doing. Um, I'm doing little peppers. I'm doing little peppers. These are yellow nice. peppers. Yeah, exactly. beautiful. So have you got your sausage and your bacon sliced up? Yeah, I do. I did nice. that. So have you got your pan? Have you got a nice big non-stick pan? Hey. How's that? Beautiful. Now, uh, how, how hot is your pan? Well, it's not hot yet. You want me to get it hot? Yeah, let's get that hot. Let's, okay. go, let's, let's go through. Okay, all is... right. Turn on the stove. Okay, good. Yeah, that's a good... Let me just turn my camera around. Sorry. Okay, that's good. That's good. So, listen, I have got a, a slightly different technique. This is my expression of a stir-fried rice. So, I'll talk through the ingredients and, and just so your audience get their head around it. I've got some chopped up bacon here, the sausage. I've got some leek, but you could use spring onion or red onion, white onion. I've got some broccoli. You could use any of that kind of cabbage family. I've got some little corn. You've got sweet corn. I've yeah. got some ginger, some garlic and chili. Yeah, and I'm, yeah, using some, ginger. I'm, yeah. I'm using some curry paste, but you could use curry powder. So there's a little bit of sort of spice in this dish. I don't think if I have that, but that's okay. If, if you haven't got that, have you got any kind of like like jerk spice or have you got any yeah, like yeah, Cajun spice? Yeah, 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 so yeah. I think like anything that has a little bit of a spice blend and a bit of attitude, we can use. Uh, yeah. Then I've got some shrimp. Would you, do you want to try, do you want to try uh, a different technique with the egg? There's an egg it's, in here? Yeah, well, have you got an egg? If not, it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, okay. I can show, I can, sh or I can just show you mine yeah, if you want to see it. Okay, then, okay. Oh. Got an egg. Thank you. Got an egg. So what are we going to so, do? All right. Here, let's so go. what we're going to do, we'll take the egg. We're going to yeah. crack it into a little bowl. Okay. Crack it into a little bowl. There you go. Yeah. And then once you've got a little bowl, uh, yeah. just give it a little whisk. Oh, prepared here. A little whisk. So ah. once, you've, once you've done the whisk, we want that pan of yours to be fairly hot. And instead of stir frying the rice into it, what I'm going to do is show you a different technique, which I love. It's right. fun. Of course, you don't have to do it, but I think you're going to like it. So in the pan, we're going to put a little bit of uh, olive oil or oil. Okay. A little bit. You know, I'm not yeah. WW Weight Watchers, formerly Weight Watchers. So, you know, I well, feel like you can get away with a lot less oil than a lot of people do. So a little oil. Listen, you can, you can put it oil. in and then you, can, you hardly need any at all. And then we're going to go in the pan yeah, and we're going to put the egg in and then immediately we're going to move, move that egg around like a pancake. So as soon as that egg goes in, move but it around. Gonna, so it's going to scramble, right? Yeah, look. Well, it's going, to, it's going to almost cook like a crepe. See that? So as soon as you put it in, move the pan around. Okay, put it in and move the pan around. Quick, quick, quick. Go on, girl. Yeah, move it around, move it around. Okay. And then do like one layer, like a crepe or a pancake or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Okay, then put it back on the heat. Yeah. Leave it on the heat. And to then we're just, the heat. Uh, no, we're just going to cook it for like one minute yeah. uh, until it kind of the side until it kind of moves. So look at mine. If you just okay, look okay. at mine right now, oh, okay. right, turn this over and I turn it upside down and out it comes. See that? Yeah. You turned it upside down. Okay. Let me show you. It's like a sheet. Yeah. So That's how do I get it to turn over? What do I do? So is it cooked yet? Is it cooked all the way through? Show me on your camera. Yeah, pretty, pretty good. It's pretty good. That's nice. good. Right? So what? Yeah, yeah, it's brilliant. So now just turn that upside down on your surface, on your, on your kitchen surface. Okay. Give it a little tap on that wooden surface. Perfect. Go upside down. Give it a tap. You mean pick it no? up? No, yeah. No, no, no. No, don't pick it up. Pick your pan up and turn it upside down like this. Okay. okay. Boom. Like on the on the wooden surface. Go on, sister. Put the put the egg on the wooden surface. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, so now, sister. So right, now what we want to do is once you've kind of rolled it up, it doesn't matter if it's perfect or not perfect. I want you to roll it up like this, right? See that? Roll it up. Okay, I can't see you. 
Okay, down. let me let me let me do it again. Okay. So you've got your piece of pan, your egg, and yeah. roll it up, roll yeah. it up like that. Yeah. Yeah. Roll Beautiful. it. Roll it. Roll yeah. it. Got it. Got it. Yeah. Cool. And cool. then once you've done that, yeah. you can get your knife and cut it into one centimeter slices, almost like tagliatelle. And that's going to be your egg ribbons that will go through your rice. And it's just a cool, quick, easy so little like fun this. way. So I'm going to slice it this way then? Yeah. Yeah, look, that's what you get. Okay, good. Gotcha. So Stokes. you basically get ribbons of egg. Yeah, it's cool. kind of. Yeah. No, no, you've done it. You've done it. You're amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I'm amazing. Thank you. Oh, okay. you you're good. good. Now use your hands. Mix it up. Mix it up. Mix it up. Just toss, toss it around, that's it. Okay, good. Oh, 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 Bacon and sausage. And like I said, any leftover meat is cool. Okay. I have some shrimp, but I don't do that yet, right? No, don't do that. You don't want to overcook it. Okay. So when you kind of get into that pan, you can start to see the fat sizzling. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm just going to pass back to my daughter so I can do some jobs. Right. So you... Um... So I'm going to just... You've got all your veggies sliced up, haven't you, Oprah? Yes, I have. How have, you ginger, have you got your ginger? Have you got your ginger sliced? How long is this cooked? Until uh, well, you, just want it, you, you want it to go like golden. So just lightly, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. So on a medium high heat, I'd say. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah but if it's too hot, then, you know, you can turn it down. It's good, it's going well. Have you got your ginger chopped up? Yes, I do, sir. Ginger you are good. Yeah. So I'm using I'm using garlic and ginger to okay. um, give you a fragrant hit, um, and I've got some basic veg. Come and have a look at this, pops. So I've got some baby corn. You've got uh, a big corn. Uh, I'm just going to cut mine in half. We have regular corn. corn. We have regular corn. So now what? Yeah, I that's fine. So that's fine. You've taken the corn off the cob, so that's cool. It's yeah. going to be delicious. Yeah. Um, so. If we go over to the pan here, so your pan should be like mine. It should be like getting golden and sizzly. Get in there. Go on, Pop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah, yeah. I think it's doing that right there. My pan is okay. my pan's like your pan. Okay. So now put your prawns in and your curry paste or your jerk spice or any spice that you've got hands on. Because right? we're in lockdown, not everyone has got the same thing. I've got some curry paste. You could use curry powder, jerk spice. You could use, uh, like, Cajun seasoning. Any of those little paste or kind of spice mixes would be cool. Look at that. But did I not put the ginger in? The ginger doesn't go in? Yep, you can put that in right now. I was just about to ask you, but you're quicker than I am. Okay. So the prawns so, go in. So the paste goes in. The paste goes in. The paste goes in. The prawns go in. The chili garlic. Ginger. Okay. Okay. And You're doing well, my girl. How are you, Oprah? You all right? Doing very well. I've missed you. It's been a while. It's been a while. Okay. I'm going to go for ginger. You know, I was talking to Jose Andres the other day. He was saying, as, Lovely you know, boy. I donated... Um, money to a number of food banks around the country here, and, and they have something called America's Food Fund. And he was yeah. saying that a meal is more than just a meal, which I think so too. That a meal is really hope and love. It's like an offering of hope and love. No, it's amazing, and thank you for doing that, Oprah. Generous and as always. Well, yeah, I um, think that during this time too. Families coming together and being able to share a meal, cook a meal. I mean, it's very bonding. Yeah, no, it's so important. So,
So listen, Oprah, at the moment, darling, because listen, we're, we're stir frying, so you need to keep the, we're going to keep the tempo up. Now, if you go in with your spring onions or onions, um, if you go in with um, your corn and your peppers. Okay, spring onions, peppers. Okay, there we go. There's my peppers. Corn. Hey, I'll just take this and dump it in there. How about that? How about this? It's gonna look just like you, Jamie. I'm gonna do this thing here. How about that? Hey. Hello. Hello. That. So what's what's nice about this dish is you can prep it up, and it's nice to cook it in batches of like two portions at a time. If you try and put too much in, you're not really stir frying. This is but, very um, WWE. You're doing great. You're doing really well. Very well. Oh, I forgot my broccoli. Should I be putting that in there now? Yeah, go for it. Okay. It's flexible. It's a flexible dish. Yeah. So once the veg has had like a little minute, oh. then we're going to go in with our... So now I've got, every, I've got everything in here. I'm putting everything in here except the rice, right? Yeah, you could, once you've got the veggies in and you're giving it a stir... Okay. Then we'll give it a beat, and then we'll go in with the rice. And obviously, we're, what we're trying to do at home is not the easiest thing. We're trying to mimic wok frying, which is very high temperature in a big wok. So obviously, at home, you need the biggest pan you've got, high yeah. heat. That's it. Is that yeah. on a high heat now, Oprah? Yeah, it's high. Nice. High, high, um, high, high heat. How, how is our friend Art Smith? Art Smith is... Somewhere making fried chicken right now, I bet you. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen him for a while. But... Uh, he is he is quarantined, but making fried chicken wherever he is. Yes. Have you yeah. found it to be um, a good time to reconnect with your family? Because I know you're on the road a lot. Do you know what? Lot. You're absolutely right. I yeah. think um, I've got five kids, two teenagers. Um, and like when you're a parent with teenagers, you're just always begging to see them. And now they're locked in. So go on, girl. You've got it going on. Come on, come on, yes. come on, come on. Come on. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, now, have you, how are you with this tossing action? Because in all seriousness, it's, it's important that you master this at some stage. Look at what I'm doing. Yeah. Can you do that? What did you just you do? You just need to tilt, tilt the pan and give it a little toss. Oh, uh, I'm not there yet, buddy. Okay, can I give you a tip? Yeah. Okay. It's, life is too short to not be able to do that. So when no one's around, get a cold pan, yeah. get some uncooked rice, and just learn to do it. And now right we're going to make a mistake here. here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 okay. You'll get the action. Well, do it in private with some cold yeah. Okay, I don't think I'm ready for that. All right, you've got potential. i got potential, though. So I still have my ribbons of eggs over here, right? Yeah, that goes in at the very end. It's very delicate and doesn't, just needs a little reheating. So now we're going to go in with the rice. My vegetables are not done yet, but okay. Well, you've got to remember, I mean, you can cook it a bit more, but we don't want to overcook the veg. We okay. want to kind of like capture the texture. We want to kind of retain as much nutrients as possible. And by the way, you know, one of the best things you can do at the moment, you know, to keep your immune system high, 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 is get as many fruits and veg and nice things in there. This so, is good. In with the rice. In with the rice. Okay. In with the rice. And you can, you can use two spoons if you want to. Okay. So I just use the back of the spoon. That's it. You're doing a great job. Honestly, really good job. Yeah, I gotta work on that toss thing. Yeah, just do it in private with a cold pan and some uncooked rice and get your action down and you'll be fine. It will save you so much time and it's not just about looking like a chef, it's about how you're trying to mix the flavors. Oh, okay. You'll get it. I'll get it. I feel confident, Jamie, that I will get it. I will, you know. This is so now, good. have you. Have this is actually looking very healthy, very WW approved friendly, very good. Yep. Good. 
I think they'd be proud of you. So what we're going to do now, have you got any chili sauce? Mm, I think I put it in there already. That's cool. So if you haven't got the chili sauce, you can use a black bean sauce or you can use a hoisin sauce. These sauces are everywhere. Sure if I, have any chili sauce in there I haven't got any chili sauce, so I'm just adding a little tiny bit of hoisin. I have some soy sauce. That. Yep, it's good. Season it with soy sauce. Just about a tablespoon. We get the low salt stuff. Yeah, I have, I have, I have low sodium soy sauce. So is that good? Yeah, really good. Okay, good. I'm going to do that. I would suggest that you do it creatively from a height. From a height? Yeah, yeah, just for fun, no reason. Okay, good. Let's try that again. Listen, okay. listen to that. Yeah. Listen to that. So go. Uh, yes, you know, when I was making the carbonara from your YouTube video the other day, you were saying <clears throat> once you add the egg, you don't want the sizzle. That was a very important tip. Because otherwise, because no, then you end up you end up with scrambled eggs. So you end up with scrambled that, eggs. yeah, yeah. I'm adding the water. I saw you add the water. You did a really good job. Right, but that's that's where the good. that's where the tossing action really helps. So, so we're pretty much there, and uh, I'm not gonna like, fool myself. I don't think so, I'm ready. Where, I'm practicing my own thing, but hey, how about that? Hey, 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 hey. No, no, you're, we're gonna get. Go on, girl. Good. That's the most I can give you today. Okay, well, you know, it's the effort that counts. Okay. So I don't know if you've got any, any soft herbs work really well with this. Um, coriander mint is particularly good with seafood and chili and spicy meats and stuff like that. Isn't it but, time you know, to get in now? But, remember, but if you haven't got them, that's fine. Dried herbs you can add. Okay, I got, I got some. Have some like um, cilantro. Have a little basil over there. Tom, don't give me a little basil. So now we're going to go in with these lovely eggs. See how delicate they are. Like like yeah, you can. To be honest, you're done. So you can remove it. Turn the heat off now. Okay. Got it. That's cool. And um, add my little ribbons of eggs. Yep, pop them on top. They don't need much reheating. Okay. Now, one thing I like to do is just taste the seasoning. You might want to add a little bit more soy sauce. Um, you want to get that seasoning right so it's got flavor. Okay, here it's our little seasoning. Let me see this. Have a little taste up. Mmm. That's really good. Yeah, well, it should be. It's got the, it's got the Magico touch. Now, what's... What you can do, I like to do, if you got it. Oh, that's you, really, if, really, really, really good. Have you got any citrus? A lot of those seasonings came in there. That's really well done, really well seasoned. Now do I mix have, the little ribbons or do I leave them on top? Have you got any citrus? Yeah, we got lots of citrus around here. Because a good squeeze of that is so good with the seafood. Look, we, got and the, we got a lot of citrus. <laughs> Because in, in California, where are you? Chicago or California? Where I'm not in California. Right. Because so you've got those Maya squeeze lemons. Lemon in here? Squeeze lemon in here? Yeah, yes, it'll be so good. Whoa, you're right. That's going to add a lot. Go on, girl. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So let's oh, plate yeah. it up. I'm just going to hand back to my lovely daughter. Right, go on, girl. So we're going to do whoa, a little. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now toss. Do I toss? Yes, spoon, toss, do what you want. I'm just going to spoon it onto a plate now. Okay. And then just a nice little plate. portion. I'm just going to do that too. Spoon it onto a plate now. I've made a bit of a mess, but not a lot, considering. But, you know, it's always higher pressure when you're kind of doing lives and it's not like, it's not as, when you're at home on your own, you can just chill out and you have a glass yeah. of wine. Yeah, that's what I was missing here. Hey, not YouTube. bad. Go on, girl. Go on, girl. Go on, girl. Hey, 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 hey. Go on, girl. Hey, hey, Finny. Flip it back for me, Pops. Yeah. Oh, you've done it. Yes. That's it, right? Yeah, you did it. You smashed it. Come on, girl. You, you did so well. Uh, thanks and so it's not much. The, yeah, Thanks you did. You did a really good job. Thanks for going live Thank with you. me. 
And all the best Pleasure. to you and your family. Stay safe yeah, over too. there, okay? Lots of love. Look after yourself, Oprah. Enjoy your dinner. I, I will do that. I'll be sharing it with the rest of the family here. Thanks so much. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Take care. Bye. 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 <laughs>